Hey Cancers, welcome to your bonus reading. So sorry it's taking me so long to get to you guys. I'm a little behind in my videos. Sorry, that's not bad. Um, and then I, I saw a comment where was like someone was asking about it. And I was like, oh shit, damn it. I gotta get that out to you guys. Um, and it's actually perfect timing because I just did the Aries videos. Ugh, I had to like, I had to stop. I had to cleanse myself. I had to reground myself. Someone was sending me some intense negative energy. And it was like, oh no, no. I, I, let me step back from some fire signs because I was going to do fire starting with fire today and it was like after that I was like nope not doing any more fire today let me switch so let me switch over to water that'll be good <laughs> I was like that would be a good shift from that from that intense fire energy um so let's get into your uh bo bonus reading here okay so the bonus reading I'm going to do a couple different spreads I'm going to do one for one group and then I'm going to try to see if I can pick up on any other stuff Okay, see if I can pick up on any other uh, Cancerians out there, because the message that I had for the week of the 31st to the 7th, I felt like was for very specific groups of Cancers, like very small group of them. And I know some of you are like, you know, wanting some other messages um, that might pertain to you. So I'm going to try to do two groups. We'll see what happens. Sometimes when I do that, sometimes I get the same message. <laughs> so we'll just see what comes out for my Cancers, okay? <clears throat> any messages for my Cancer Cancerians? Um, I'm just going to keep it super general, guys, and just see what comes through, okay? Um, I'm not going to put a timeline on it, so it could be past, present, future. This could even be for Cancerians who just come across my video after, like, months from now, and maybe it'll apply to you. You never know. Okay. Mm. Unless my crown chakra is going, like, crazy. I can feel it. It's like... <laughs> All right, Cancers. <clears throat> Any messages for my Cancerians? Anything you'd want my Cancerians to know? Anything my Cancerians should know? Any messages for my Cancers? Any messages for Cancers? Okay. Oh, 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 God, I wish I caught that on camera. Quite literally, it just flipped into my hand. That was the weirdest feeling. Ooh. Ten of Swords in Reverse. That came out with a quick of vengeance, too. Ten of Swords in Reverse. All right. Any other messages for my Cancerians? Like, I literally didn't have the card in my hand. It just flipped up into my hand. Never had that intense energy before. Any messages for my Cancers? Any messages for my Cancerians? Any messages for my Cancerians? Okay. So I got three cards out here. Overall energy. Ooh, I don't like this. Page of Swords in Reverse. My lying card. Right underneath that, by the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Offer of a soulmate, but there's lies. There's lies around it. Or at least... I, I, I'm gonna be honest. It's like I'm sensing something that's just not truthful. Um... But this really, I'm also sensing just like really poor communication or it's like some, like a message that just wasn't delivered tactfully, like almost nerve-like, like maybe there's just a lot of nerves. Maybe that's what it is. There's just a lot of nerves. Um, Cancers, I think some of you are also believing that this is not a true offer of the Ace of Cups or the Two of Cups. There's a couple different things I'm sensing for my Cancers. One being this offer is surrounded by lies or there's lies that were leading up to this offer. Others, it's like someone giving you an offer, which is a soulmate, um, but there's like nerves around it. And so it's, it's coming out in a weird way or it's not coming out tactfully. It's coming out in a way that's kind of bothersome. Um, oh, I just got apology. That's weird. This could be someone from your past. I just got an apology. Usually Ace of Cups, though, is a brand new person for me, but it doesn't have to be. Um, or you just don't believe the offer, period. All right, so a couple, so like I said, like three different things there, and then I just sense the apology. So I think maybe some there is an apology here of some kind for some of you. Oof, okay. Ten of Swords in Reverse, especially for people who this is a past person, maybe you just ended something with them and now they're coming back, because we also have Ace of Swords in Reverse. And the card right in the middle is someone coming in to make an offer, Virgo Energy. Could also be Capricorn Taurus or Aries Leo Sag. So these are the three cards we have. Oof, doesn't that just energetically paint a story? So coming out of something that's ended because some, you know, and someone in the midst of all of this by the end of this is coming towards you with an offer of abundance or news. 
overall energy though I, I get mostly that you guys just don't believe it I think that's what it is it's mostly that you guys don't believe it I think this person did lie okay if you are dealing with someone from the past if you're dealing with someone from the past they lied to you a lot in the past so they're coming in with this offer of the ace of cups and the two of cups and you just you just can't believe them you just find it hard to believe them that's why the ten of swords in reverse that's why the ace of swords is in reverse okay because it's like you just can't believe that that what they're saying is truthful because they fed you so many lies in the past others you know it could be your past is hindering you from allowing you to believe this offer um just trying to see what else i can pick up here yeah like if this is a new person i think you guys are just finding it hard to believe finding it really really hard to believe if it's a past person you also don't believe them because <clears throat> they've lied to you so much there's just a lot of lack of belief here is what i'm getting a lot of lack of belief so let's look at this ten of swords in reverse and see what this is about okay i'll use my gilded tarot deck if i could pick it up oh sh <laughs> i went if i could pick it up and then look what happened <laughs> just all kinds of craziness came out like, oh, i can't pick it up and then it literally just all flew out of my hand i think i just got some crazy energy around me guys like i said my crown chakra is like <laughs> going a little crazy and i'm starting to get manic which tells me that i am kind of picking up on a lot of different energy like the divine's trying to talk to me spirit's trying to talk to me um i get a little manic when that happens okay clarify ten of swords in reverse yeah there's a lot of energy around me right now a lot of energy clarify ten of swords in reverse for my cancers clarify ten of swords in reverse for my cancers whoa okay whoa okay cards are flying man clarify ten of swords in reverse we have the wheel of fortune and emperor out here now <sighs> clarify ten of swords in reverse clarify ten of s whoa <sighs> i just got the chills someone's offering commitment you're having a really hard time believing it whether they're new or old, you're having a really hard time believing it. Clarify Ten of Swords in reverse for my cancers. I seriously have the chills and now my stomach is like queasy. Okay. Clarify Ten of Swords in reverse for cancers. Clarify Ten of Swords in reverse for my cancers. Clarify Ten of Swords in reverse for my cancers. Hold on. I got a card that flew. Oy. Two of pentacles okay overall energy seven of pentacles in reverse so you're coming out of this ending whatever this ending was i feel like it's romantic i feel like it was a relationship doesn't have to be but it feels that way um you're coming out of it there was a very it was painful it was really painful whatever this person did to you it felt i feel like you were just left there standing like why like why the fuck would they do that like some of you felt like, did I deserve that? Like, wow. Some of you feel like the universe is like punishing you in some way. Don't feel that way, guys. Don't. I. I. I know. I know my cancers. I know you guys. You feel it. You feel. You feel <laughs> in a way that most people do not. Okay. Um. Don't blame yourselves. Please don't blame yourselves. But you're coming out of it. You're trying to. And the overall energy is seven of pentacles in reverse. You're coming out of it feeling like you wasted your time. Feeling like it was just a waste of effort. It was a waste of time. Go away. Hold on a second. Um, and you're just, you're not, you just don't feel happy or very content with what happened. You really feel, some of you feel like the universe is punishing you, trying to get out of that feeling, and, and hence you're feeling like, I really wasted my time with this person. But the stuff that's clarifying it, clarifying this ending, we have five cards, Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, Aries energy, could also be Taurus. This is divine masculine energy. They could be older than you. Um, they could be a business owner. I'm getting justice system. I don't know why I'm getting justice system. They could be working in the justice system, whether it's like, you know, police force all the way up to like the law portion, like as a lawyer or a judge or whoever. Um, four of Wands commitments, the marriage card, right? It could also be social events, but I'm not feeling social events. Five of Pentacles, isolation, being out in the cold, and then we have Two of Pentacles. So, 
something's ended you've walked away from something because you felt like not enough was being put in or that you wasted your time you wasted your time or someone wasn't investing enough in you um well with the wheel of fortune it's basically saying that you're on your right path things are going to go well for you from here on out things are going to be pushed forward for you in a positive way good fortune this emperor though I feel like this is somebody who's trying to come in. I do feel like it's, yeah, it's the same energy. Well, oh, this is really interesting. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, cancers, get ready. Some of you, this is the same person. Other you, others of you, these are two different people. Wow. I really like it. I actually really like it. I really like it a lot. So, and I'm holding these two, two, two cards together for a reason. They feel very cemented together, like union with this person. I feel like you're coming out of this ending and almost starting a new beginning with someone already, or like it's about to play out is what I, about to play out. Yeah, some of you, it's about to play out and it might be a bit of a surprise, but it's like, there's, I don't know, there's like a business component. There's like, it's almost like they're guiding you. Like I'm drawn to their light. I'm drawn to their little light torch. I don't know. I don't know what you call that. A little light torch or whatever. Um, they're almost guiding you out of this pain in a very positive, good, fortunate way. But I really feel like there's a commitment or at least a foundation being built with this person, even if it's just business related. Okay. But then they got this fucker. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse my French. This is someone from the past. This is someone from the past. That's why I was like, someone new, someone old. I don't know. Someone from your past is trying to come in and make an offer to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's why the Page of Swords is like is like this. Because... <laughs> I don't know what's going on, guys. That's why the Page of Swords is your overall energy like this. You see those two swords he's holding? There's a choice right there. So, I think this person from the past has lied to you a lot. Or you felt like they lied to you. Either way, they left you in pain. <laughs> no matter what they did, they left you in pain. So you're not very trusting of it, as you shouldn't be. Um, but then there's this person that you're definitely collaborating with on something. Um, and again, it might be like a romance or a budding romance or probably is leading that way. Or at least at the very at the very least, you're, you're building a foundation of some kind with this person. Business related, I sense for some of you. Others of you, I really feel like it's leading to romance, Okay. But this person is trying to come in and it's almost like you're going to have to make a choice at some point. Okay. For some of you, others of you, like I said, it's the same person and it seems like a foundation is being re rebuilt. Whether, again, you don't have to accept this. You can always change. You can always change your shit. You can, you can always change what's happening around you as far as like what path you're going to take. It's all to come down, comes down to free will, but most of you. These are two different people. Do you want an emperor or do you want a knight? I'd want an emperor. <laughs> Just saying, that's that's me. Not for everybody. Emperor could be a little cold. But then we have these two cards to finish clarifying the Ten of Swords in reverse. Five of Pentacles and two, two of Pentacles. I'm feeling choice here. I'm feeling choice. Because um, for some of you where this is the same person, you're trying to you're trying to decide if you're trying if you need to let them in. You're trying to decide, should I let them in? I don't know. I don't know. Things are going so well for me right now. I don't know if I want this again, you know? Um, and for those of you who are choosing between this knight, this person who hurt you, and this person who's trying to build something with you, again, I'm feeling business for some reason, but it could also be romance um, or, or a business that's a business part that might become a lover. You never know. Um, where you're like, God, what do I do? Do I come out of the cold with the knight? Do I come out of cold with them or do I hang on to what I already got? Do I hang on to what's already here in my life that makes me happy? By the way, it does make you happy. You're just, you're still coming out of this, you know, not so great period where you felt like someone wasn't investing in you. Oh, okay. So you guys got it. Some of you, it's the same person. Others of you, you're working with someone new or dealing with someone new. And then someone from the past is trying to come back. Aye. So let's look at this Ace of Swords in reverse, this lack of truth, lack of clarity. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. Oh, they're telling me to use the vice versa deck. Okay. Okay. Ooh. 
Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse for Cancers. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse for Cancers. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse for Cancers. Whoa, 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 that was quick. King of Wands, okay. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Okay. Clarify. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Three kings. Three kings out of four cards. Wow, cards are just flying. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. And all the kings have their back turned. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify Ace... Okay, this is the old the person from the past. This is the person from the past for sure. This is their lack of truth and clarity. You're left with the choice for those where it's a new person coming. Either way, you're left with a choice, whether you're going to take this person from the past back or for those of you where you're dealing with two people, it's choosing to stay on the path that you're on or to take that person back. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. I can't believe we have three kings right here. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. The only one that's missing is um, the King of Pentacles. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. Hold on, let me get these all. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I really feel like someone wants to apologize to you. I really feel like this person from the past really wants to apologize, but I gotta be honest. It's like they, I just feel like they, it's not just closure, you know? Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify Ace of Jesus, Swords in reverse. Hold on, let me get that card that fell. Mm, interesting. Overall energy, Hermit. Yeah, this is them. This is your partner from the past. Okay, that you were no that you were definitely not with anymore. I really feel like you're not with them anymore. Virgo energy. This is the other side. This is the side that came out. So they don't they're having a lack of truth here. They're having a lack of clarity as well. Um because they're gonna confuse you by coming in. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? But they're on their own um soul searching journey right now in regards to you. It's almost like they're being introspective about what they've done. Which is good. It's all good stuff. Um, this this side of the hermit and this specific deck, this is basically someone who's refusing to come out of hermit mode until they get the truth. Like, God damn it, I gotta get clarity. I gotta get understanding on this. I don't because I I'm so confused and I gotta get ground grounded grounded. They're trying to ground themselves too. Um, I need the truth. I need the clarity before I can do anything else. Is kind of what I'm getting. So let me organize these that came out. Nine cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys might be seeing 333. Three, three. <laughs> I don't know why it always does that. Um, I don't know why I just got that. Some of you guys might be seeing 333 three, three a lot. All right. So just if you're resonating with this and you see that, just I'm letting you know, I'm just saying it. All right. The first three cards to clarify. King of Wands. Leo energy could also be Sag um, or Aries. It's so funny. I like, I couldn't even think of it for a second. I think it's because I was trying so hard to clear out that Aries energy. Anyway, uh, it could also be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have the world. Oh, it doesn't matter if they're upright or not because it's the vice versa deck. So one side is like the upright. The other side is like the reversed. Um, so the world, King of Cups, Scorpio energy could also be Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is all their energy. They're going within because they're trying to close out cycle, a cycle. But plain and simple, they're going within, trying to gain that clarity, trying to be introspective, trying to claim that, uh, claim that wisdom. And like, I feel like they're finding themselves, like really finding themselves and who they are, which is really great stuff. But they're doing it to close out a cycle. You could be dealing with um, a, f a fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aqu Aquarius, Taurus. Why was that so hard to think of? Anyway, um, so they're they're trying to work on them, which is great. But it's almost like they're going to do this after they come to you so i think you might reject them to be honest because it's like why is this happening after the fact some of them might come in after to give this apology but it's like i'm feeling like i'm feeling like it's like a preemptive 
strike almost oh, that's a weird language to use like a preemptive strike of like i'm gonna come in now and they're gonna realize it's not gonna work and then they're, they're gonna go within interesting so it's almost like telling them no is gonna get them on their right path i'm not telling you what to do i'm just saying that's that's how it feels okay so then we have this the other king <laughs> Aquarian energy. Yeah, the only one that's not here is the King of Pentacles, which is the one who brings stability. <laughs> God. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. And then we have the Devil, Capricorn energy with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, there... I don't like when this king is in this position. This, tell, this is my narcissist card when it's in this position. It's like someone who's withstanding all the turmoil on their own because they think they're invincible kind of energy but i think it's also just really kind of saying like they are going within they are because they're stuck they're stuck in this eight of swords and they're trying to release and they are doing it which is great they're releasing codependence they're releasing toxicity that's fabulous okay so they need to be in this stuck mode they need to be to do that and then we get this three of wands with the six of pentacles and the page of cups this three of wands they're going to be standing there for a long time. This is the other side. Looks fairly abundant, right? Looks fairly nice. This is like you're in the middle of a hot desert with a robe, no less. Thought. Talk about hot. Um, nothing in sight and they're waiting. That's how long this person's waiting on something. They're waiting to find balance and to give an apology. It's almost like they're waiting for their window, their window of opportunity. Sorry, I don't know why I keep snapping my fingers. I don't know why I keep doing that. Anyway. Don't know what that's about. Maybe it resonates with you. I don't know how, but I do. I don't know why I'm doing it. The Six of Pentacles, though, this is telling me that, like, this is a very imbalanced person. And I think that's why they are going to be waiting so long, because they really don't have the balance. They're actually, like, I'm getting arrogance. Yeah, they're a little arrogant. I actually see this one as, like, this card is, like, someone who has a lot of money and thinks that they can, like, not get carried away with it, but... Like, it gives them power, and it's a little bit of a power trip card, you know? Um, like, they're looking down on that town, and they're like, I own it. I own it. I have all these resources. I can divvy them out as any way I please, is kind of how I see it. And so maybe that they were like that with you in the past. But this is apology. Hands down, apology. Apology all day. They want to give an apology. They're just waiting for their window, and they're not in the right state of mind to do it anyway. Okay? Is what I'm getting. Wow. All right. Oh, I didn't even see <laughs> these two. They're heading your way because Cancer, you have your back turned. This is Libra energy, but it's also, um, it's the Queen of Swords. It's also Gemini, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have your back turned to them, hands down. This is also your card, Cancerian energy. Um, but you have your back turned because you have your intuition. The Queen of Swords in this position is like, they're within and they are very, very much in tune with their own intuition on what, what's going on around them. Um, but this chariot, I feel like it's them running to you. I'm going to clarify it though, because I'm feeling weird energy off of it. Um, but they're trying to come in to be triumphant with you and to claim you. Okay. Even though you have your back turned to them. So let's see what this is about. Let's see what this chariot is about. We'll use gilded tarot for that. Clarify the chariot for my cancers. Clarify the chariot for my cancers. Like, I feel like they're doing all this work and then they just run your way. Clarify the chariot for my cancers. Clarify the chariot for my cancers. Because this is running towards. This is running away. Running towards. And you're right next to it. So I feel like they're running towards you. Clarify the chariot for cancers. Come on. They don't want to shuffle. <laughs> Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot. Oh, yeah, this is them. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot for my cancers. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot. For my cancers, clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot for my cancers. Clarify the chariot for my cancers. Oh, wow, this is kind of sad. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of sad. So the overall energy for the chariot, we have the world again. 
So we have it up here where they're trying to close it out. And then they're going to come in to try and open a cycle with you. So they're closing out an old cycle of theirs. Um, and it probably does relate to you and the things they did to you. And they're like, okay, let's start new. Come on, Cancer. They're going to come in with your energy, by the way. And I feel like that's because maybe there is a really deep connection here. Um, but it's almost like they, they feel like they know how to work you. So be mindful of that. They might be a little manipulative by nature. But they're going to come and be like, come on, Cancer. Let's start this new beginning. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And the truth of it is, you know, you got your back turned. I really think you're going to say no. Um, and to clarify the full in reverse with the two, of, the two of wands, they're only coming in because they are so stuck. They are so stuck at this crossroads. And I got to be honest, they're making a foolish choice. The second I saw the full card come out, I'm like, oh, they're acting a fool. <laughs> like quite literally, they're acting a fool because they are so stuck in the place that they are at. <coughs> <coughs> Not a good energy. Not a good energy. We'll pull Romance Angel cards and see what's up. Because like I said, Cancer, some of you already have someone new that you're already building something with, which is really great energy, by the way. I love it. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I gotta pause. Okay, Cancers. I'm back. All right, so let's get this going, right? Any messages for my Cancers regarding this spread? 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 One more. Any messages for my cancers regarding this spread? Any mess. That was quick. Any messages for my cancers regarding this spread? Any messages for my cancers? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm going to take the ones that are showing because there's like three of them. Okay. These ones, though, that's like, mm, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Believe me, if they're meant to come out, they'll come out. Any messages from my cancers regarding their spread? <coughs> Any? <laughs> Clearly that was meant to come out. Any messages from my cancers regarding this spread? Okay. Any messages for my cancers regarding this spread? Any messages for my cancers regarding this spread? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I know. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I know this always takes up a little bit of time with my cough. By the way, I know I have a lot of new subs. I just, I don't feel, I hate having to explain my cough situation over and over to people. I keep saying I'll make a video about it and just have you guys refer to the video if you're really curious. I am not sick. I am in great health. This is a cough I've had most of my life. It's gotten worse with, worse with age. Um, I've been to countless specialists, and I mean countless. Um, I've had almost every study done, whatever, examination, treatment, whatever. Um, they don't know what it is. They've chopped it up to asthma or allergies or allergy-induced asthma, even though when they look at my lungs and respiratory system, everything looks like in amazing shape, like better than the average person. Um, <clears throat> I work on my throat chakra a lot. <laughs> Try to keep that balanced and protected. It just is what it is. And honestly, I just, I've actually think it might just be that I grew up in a very air polluted area. And I think that's what it is. Um, and, and I also do have a sensitive throat chakra, which is why I try to work on it a lot, at least keeping it balanced and protected. Um, so that's what it is. So sometimes I do get triggered in my readings with my cough. Um, sometimes I just breathe wrong and it just like I just get sent off into a major coughing fit. It's a family thing. My, a lot of people in my family have been like that, too, for generations. OK, it just it just is what it is. It's probably related to a past life. You know, maybe I had a, a fatal injury relating to my respiratory system. Who knows? It could totally be a past life issue. Hold on. I just need a little liquid, though. Ugh. Anyway, enough talk about me. <laughs> mm. I just think some of you were going to comment about it, so. Anyway, moving on. Overall energy. Surprised? I'm not. <laughs> Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Uh, it's not on the horizon. It's happened, right? Uh, it's relating to this past person who's going to like shake up your world a little bit. 
But that's all that is. It's just, you know, really emphasizing that you two are not together. You are not together. So let me organize these. Mm. Whoa. Okay, there's a couple things going on here. There's a couple things going on here. And I'm sensing it for both scenarios where it's like you have two people and then where it's like this, where the other cancer is in with this one person trying to come in and fuck up their life. Um, God, where do I start? Let's start here. <laughs> Let's start with unrequited love. It's just a lot of messages. Uh, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It doesn't always mean that. It can also mean that, you know, love is not being given in the way it's being received. You know, an imbalance of, of love being accepted. And it's, so it's with this past person. Hands down, it's with this past person. Either they didn't, like I said, you felt like they probably didn't invest in you enough. Or like there were wasted efforts there because why? The love was not at a balanced give and take ratio. That's why. So that's what that card's about. All right, let's start here. For yourself and keep an open mind. This goes for both parties, by the way. It's time to take back control of your life. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is for the person trying to mess up your world. And this is also for the cancers who have a new person that they're building with. Okay? It's basically saying free yourself from the past. So let's focus on those cancers for this new, regarding this new person in your life. Free yourself from the past. That's what that's saying. Don't let the past hold you back because all this was a, all of this new person's energy was attached to this Ten of Swords in reverse because it's been pretty close to you engaging with this new person and this ending that took place with this other person. You got me? I know. I'm doing a little bit of Yoda speak. Hang in there with me. Don't lose me. Don't lose me, Cancers. Free yourself from the past and embrace. Embrace and keep an open mind about this person. And this is basically also telling me that maybe, you know, you didn't expect to be working with this person or maybe you didn't expect to be building with this person um maybe you didn't expect to fall in love with them if you've fallen in love with them like i said i feel like there's a weird business component not a weird i feel like there's a business component attached um just for some of you not all of you but some of you others of you you are entering a commitment with another person and it's saying just be optimistic about it stay open-minded about it um and just don't think of the past so much let that go now talking about your your old person I'm so sorry, guys. I was like, I was trying to make a notification go away because it takes up almost my whole screen and then I accidentally opened it and then it stopped the video. <sighs> I can't wait to get a camera. <laughs> so now this this upload is going to take quite a few more hours to get to you because I have to stitch it now. Um, so you'll probably be seeing your weekly reading before you see this. But anyway, so regarding this person from the past, they need to free themselves from you. Period. They need to fear themselves from this idea that they can just swoop in whenever they want to snatch you up. You know what I mean? It's like it almost seems like I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. I need my cancer. And it's like, no, that's not how that works. And they need to keep an open mind as far as going about their path without you. OK, now I really like this energy on these cards. This is about this is for the cancers who have this new person. OK, it's a past life relationship. Um, we have attraction and then we have let go of control issues. The let go of control issues, it might, you know, we have an emperor here, you're dealing with an emperor, they can be a little controlling, so that can be for them. But I think it's also more just about don't worry so much about what's to come with this person because of what you've just been through. Just let it happen naturally. Just let it happen. Don't fight it and don't try to rush it. Just see how things go day to day. Okay, and this attraction, this I, I really like this card because for me it's like a combo of self love and manifestation. So in the midst of this, of letting things happen naturally, you're also healing. You're also healing yourself. You're letting it go. You're just like, okay, whatever happens with this person from my past life, I'm just going to let happen. And that's okay. And it's going to lead to some really great things. Some really, really great things. Now we have make the effort and calling in your soulmate. I got to tell you, this is the past person's energy trying to call you in. They're trying so hard to make the effort. They're trying to pull you in and towards them they're they're trying they're trying really hard they might even be doing it be doing it energetically so maybe that's also making it hard for you and especially those of someone new it could be making it hard for you to, to deal with the new person while it's like why am i thinking of this old person because they're thinking of you and they're trying to call you in um this also applies to those who have a new person this new person um cancers you're great manifestors 
It amazes me sometimes. It baffles me sometimes. I'm like, how did they do that? That's unbelievable. Um, you might have called this person in because you were in so much pain about this old person. And maybe you didn't realize it. And it's saying, take the chance. It's like this person's here. You're building. Just give it a chance. That's what it's saying. Make the effort with them. Because you can make something really beautiful, especially since you have the Wheel of Fortune right next to it. That's crazy, Cancer. I feel like a lot of great things can come from this Emperor-like energy. So keep that in mind. Okay, now let's do the second read. I still cannot believe that I got interrupted. Ugh. It's gonna. You're probably not even going to get this till tomorrow morning. I'm filming at like... I think it's like five o'clock here, five o'clock Pacific on the third. We'll see how long it takes to upload. <laughs> oh man, can't wait till I get a camera. Okay. All right, just clearing the board here. Sorry, I know that was loud because it was loud to me, so it must have been loud to you. <laughs> Where did my crystal go? Perfect. All right, Cancers. Let's see if we can get a different message for another group, okay? Ugh. Any messages for a different group of Cancers? Any messages for a different group of Cancers? Any messages for a different group of Cancers? Ooh. Any messages for a different group of Cancers? Any messages for a different group of Cancers? Any messages for a different group of Cancers? One more. Any messages for a different group of Cancers? Okay. Any messages for a different group of Cancers? Any messages for a different group of Cancer? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> With the hermit, though. Any messages for a different group of cancers? 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 By the way, that first group... That energy of the cards was so intense, and it already feels different, so I think we are going to get different messages here. That energy was really intense, and it might have to do with the energy shift that just happened. So if you feel like you've been going through some really crazy shit energetically, intuitively, what have you, go and check out those videos. It might be helpful for you. Any messages for a different group of Cancers? <laughs> you will not believe the overall energy. Okay, let me just get these set up. We got four cards here. Hmm. Over on energy. <laughs> Two of cups. Right underneath that, six of cups. They're telling me to keep the six of cups out, so I will. I'll just put it right over here so I can actually look at it. That's so crazy. Two of cups with the six of cups. Soulmate. Like, intense soulmate energy. <laughs> Very intense. Wow, I just can't even believe it. Anyway, so we have Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Eight of Wands in reverse. That tells me there's like a lack of progress or like a very slow, I'm getting slow, slow communication. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Holding on. There's a little bit of greed here too. But holding on. Usually I associate this with ego and it's like I'm finding it hard to not associate with ego in this reading. But I'm just going to say holding on. Holding on. Holding on holding on. So let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. Let's look at what the good shit is, okay? I like looking at the good stuff. Let's look at the good stuff because you know how these readings are, guys. I mean, life is most, I would, I hate saying it that way, but I guess it's just true. I would say most of life is about learning, which means life is rough, right? Life is not sunshine all the time. I would say most of the time it's actually not. And that's not to be morbid or down. It's like, it's just kind of, it's about what we're here for. We're here to learn, which means we get, we're get we here to go through tough things. Uh, and, uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. But refocusing. Clarify the wheel. I just don't like to focus on the negative too much because I have to focus on the negative and then people get upset when I focus on the negative. So I guess that's why I'm like, let's get positive. <laughs> Clarify the wheel. And it's good fortune. It's upright. 
So that means that you're you're on the right path, cancers. <laughs> Clarify the wheel. Uh, is this gonna be the same story? Well, I guess there's some cancers that have to hear it, right? Clarify the wheel. Clarify the wheel. Sorry, my stuff is all. Clarify the wheel for cancers. Clarify the wheel for my cancers. Clarify the wheel for my cancers. I'm not touching that notification. I'm not making that mistake again. <laughs> okay. Clarify the wheel for my cancers. Clarify the wheel for my cancers. Clarify the wheel for my cancers. Okay, this is this is interesting. So around this change of fortune, this progress, this forward movement, um, success. I'm getting success. I think you guys are having a lot of really great stuff coming your way as far as finances are concerned. Overall energy, we have six of pentacles, which is balance and charity, like charitable, charitable. I think you're feeling very generous, <clears throat> feeling very very generous um, because you're coming into some good stuff so you're feeling good so you, you want to like give that energy out to people i think is what's going on these three cards ah i see i see eight of swords with uh, temperance sagittarius energy with the seven of pentacles you're moving past this energy so let's be very clear you're moving past this this is past energy for you is feeling stuck you're moving past it and you did it with the help of temperance you did it with the help of temperance it's like you You found a calm. That's that's nice, Cancers. You found a calm within yourself. It's almost like whatever made you feel like this, you're able to step out of out of like your own emotions in it for a second, and you just found a calm place to be. That's probably why the hermit is here. You probably went into hermit mode. It feels really nice. It feels really nice. And you felt like that was a really good use of your time. You felt like, okay, I handled that well with the seven of with the seven of pentacles. I handled that well. That was time well spent. That was productive. I can keep going. I can, I just, I keep getting that. I can keep going. I can keep going. That feels really great, Cancers. Now let's look at the Hermit. No, I'm use Gilded Tarot. <laughs> Excuse me. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit for my Cancers. Clarify the Hermit for my Cancers. Clarify the Hermit. But all of this is regarding a soul, like a really intense soul bond. Soul bond, soul contract, for sure. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit. <laughs> Overall energy for Pentacles in reverse. So what happened between here and here? We'll find out. But this is letting go. So yeah, you went within. Oh, wow. Regarding a soulmate. Letting go of a soulmate. Or at least letting go of some like bad things regarding that connection. Because the fact that we have two two of cups upright tells me that this is very much a bond. Like it is cemented. You know what I mean? So maybe you just had to do some thinking about what you've been experiencing. And then the hermit's clarified by the eight of cups. Heading towards your happy. Let's clarify the eight of cups. I feel like there's something going on there. Heading towards your happy. Whether, regardless of what you're leaving behind. Whether it's a person or just a habit um, or a situation. You're heading towards good things. Clarify Eight of Cups for my Cancers. Clarify Eight of Cups for my Cancers. Ugh, I just felt a release. Yeah, it's like you're releasing a lot of things that were just didn't serve you. Okay, that just weren't healthy for you. Clarify Eight of Cups, or they were emotions or people. <laughs> you just you let it go. Clarify Eight of Cups for my Cancers. <clears throat> Clarify Eight of Cups for my Cancers. Okay. Oh, 
okay, it was hard for you to make that choice though. Clarify Eight of Cups for my Cancers. 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 Overall energy, chariot. Wow, and underneath that, we got the world. Oh my God, and it's new. It's new. You ran away from someone or a situation. Still, someone was tied to it. I feel it. You ran away and you started your own new damn beginning, <laughs> which I love. I really, really love that. <clears throat> and attached to what you were leaving behind, you have the two of swords with the four of wands and the magician. Gemini energy could also be Aquarius. For me as a reader, it's a Scorpio. Oh, by the way, sorry, I just got so excited. <laughs> Chariot is your energy, Cancer. The world is fixed energy, right? So Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. But anyway, you're leaving somebody who... Why am I getting lazy? I think you saw this person as lazy, like... I mean, this is someone who can't manifest. It's also usually a trickster, but I feel like it's more just, you just saw them as lazy. Like, they just couldn't do shit. They couldn't, oh, I see. They couldn't really be a part of this union in the way you wanted them to. I think maybe they had a lot of shit going on in their life. Maybe they just couldn't get their act together, quite literally, even though you guys have such a great, have such a great bond and, like, it really could have been something magnificent they, you keep see, I just keep getting lazy, lazy, lazy. Like, maybe they just didn't get up or off, off their ass and do something about this union. <clears throat> maybe they didn't invest in it the way you did. Either way, you were like, wow, I gotta choose to do something about this. What am I gonna do? This is a very hard choice. This is, I can calmly make a decision because I have all the answers. This is like, I don't know what to do. But you made a choice. You moved on. You're like, bye. <laughs> I can go have amazing stuff elsewhere. Which, by the way, you got two travel cards here. One of them is about international travel. Um, and one's obviously just domestic. <laughs> obviously. Um, let's clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is, I just get slow communication. Slow communication. Um, we'll use the Gilded Tarot. <clears throat> clarify Eight of Wands in reverse. But yeah, you just, you headed off. You headed off into the sunset by yourself and you were perfectly happy to do that. Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse. Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse for Cancers. Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse for my Cancers. Clar I think I got a peeker. Hold on. Oh, yep, just the one. Okay. Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse for my... Cancers. Oh, that's a lot of cards. No, keeping it. Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse. Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse. There's a lot going on with those Eight of Wands. I'm just telling you right now. <clears throat> Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse for my Cancers. Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse for my Cancers. Clarify Eight of Wands in reverse for my Cancers. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We have a lot of cards. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jesus, 11, 12. So I got 12 cards around attached to this Eight of Wands in reverse. Overall energy. Five of Cups. This is the person you, you left. I gotta be honest. They're pretty upset. <laughs> They're pretty upset. They're pretty sad. They're pretty down. Um, they lost you. They lost you and they can't deal. And now there's like very slow communication, if any. Um, 
and very, very, very little progress of what they would consider progress. But Cancers, that's kind of how you want it to be. So let's just get into it. The first card out, which came out on its own, like, I mean, just by itself is what I meant. Uh, Death in Reverse, Scorpio Energy. Change. 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 I keep getting change. If this person's contacting you, I think that's what you're telling them. Change. You better change. You better change. You better just change. <clears throat> this might relate a little bit to the first reading for some of you. The next line out. Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. Six of Wands in reverse with strength in reverse. Leo energy. Ugh. <coughs> God damn it. Mm. Okay. Working. Working. They're going to tell you that they're, they really want to work on, that they're working on things and they want to work with you. But no. No. <laughs> Cancer, you just, you like, you're like, no. <laughs> um, they feel like a failure. I'll be honest. They feel like a failure. They don't have the strength right now. Um, they're trying to work, but there's like, some of them might be throwing themselves into work too. After you leave or if you left already, they threw themselves into work because they just feel like they can't get their shit together with you. They've lost their confidence. Their ego took a big hit. Their ego took a really big hit. Um, okay. Let's look at this next line. Judgment in reverse. Sun in reverse. More Leo energy. Page of Wands in reverse. My bad news card. Nine of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. Could also be um, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then the Knight of Swords in reverse. Drama. Drama for days. Gemini energy. Could also be uh, can uh, almost a like Cancer. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. So I know it's a lot of cards to look at, but let's look at these first, because this is kind of separate energy, I, I feel. This is just kind of explaining what's about to, like, these cards are explaining why these cards are out, okay? This is a rift. This is a rift between the two of you. This is, like, this is opposite of reconciliation, you know, for this person that you've left. Really upset, really unhappy. This is bad news for them. This is, like, really upsetting. This is really upsetting news for them that you're like, no, I'm, no. That you're like, no, I'm done. No, I can't do this. I can't be with you. They feel like you're making a bad decision. They feel like you're making a mistake. Let them feel that way. I don't think you're making a mistake. Okay, and then let's get into the other three cards that came out with it. The Nine of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. I gotta be honest, Cancers. <laughs> I think you're telling them no because you have someone else that you're interested in. You may or may not tell them that. But I really feel like some of you do. And it's a Taurus energy, which they don't have to be a Taurus. They could just be harnessing it. Tauruses like to take care of people. They do. It's really nice. It's really yummy. Um, they're Yeah, they're stubborn as shit. They are. But they like to take care of the house. They like to build a nest egg. They like to build and they like to build shit up with someone so they could settle into it with them. It's really nice energy. But they this is your energy. You're single, though. You're not with this person. So that's why it makes me think like maybe you just have your eye on somebody or you're interested in somebody, but you were so independent and confident by the time this person comes back around to try and talk to you that you're just feeling so great. You're like, no, I got so much good going on in my life. And it's like, I know you see it doesn't mean you can have it because you got your eye on somebody else anyway. <laughs> they could be a gem Taurus cusper, but I just feel like there's drama. There's so much drama um, when this person comes in and you're just like, you're annoyed by that as well. You're like, why do you gotta come in and stir shit up in my life unnecessarily? <clears throat> then we have these two cards, Empress. This is also your energy, because remember, this is my, oh, ooh, Cancers. This is my pre-Empress card. Empress to me is somebody who's, like kind of claimed in some way even if it's 3d or 5d they're claimed so this person might have claimed you like very quickly after you have this conversation with this person very interesting so taurus energy could also be libra um it's a uh, venus energy divine feminine energy whoever resonates with those titles and two of pentacles in reverse um there's a little bit of struggle here it's like you're really struggling with this person with the way that they're coming at you and you're really not liking it. But also what this is telling me is that you're going to quickly let it go. You're going to be like, 
dropping that pentacle. I don't I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit because I'm the empress and I got everything I need and I'm manifesting and I'm in a really good place. I do not need this fucker or, the, or their bullshit. Wow. Very, very awesome, Cancers. Now I have the four of pentacles, the holding on. Let's look at this with the vice versa, okay? <clears throat> Clarify four of pentacles. I feel like it's them. I feel like it's your ex. Look at those eyes. It's like, I'm not letting go of you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I just got, um, what's that character's name? I've only seen that movie once, Lord of the Rings. The little creature person. Um, what's it? It's not Schmeagol. Is it Schmeagol? Why do I want to say Schmeagol? I don't know. I don't, I, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm not really into Lord of the Rings. I am a nerd, but Lord of the Rings was never really my bread and butter. But it's like, precious. <laughs> You're my precious. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, clarify four of pentacles for cancers. Oh, that gave me a good laugh. Clarify four of pentacles for cancers. Oh, gee. Wow. Okay. Lots of cards. Hold on. Let me get these organized. Two, three. Okay. Clarify four of pentacles for my cancers. Precious. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for them. I do. I kind of feel bad, but like that, I just do get that visual of like, you're my precious. Clarify Four of Pentacles. <laughs> oh boy. Then we'll pull Romance Angels and then we'll call it we'll call it a day. Clarify Four of Pentacles for Cancers. Clarify Four of Pentacles for Cancers. Clarify Four of Pentacles for Cancers. Wow, well, lot oh my god, I cannot believe the amount of cards we have. Okay, so like I said, guys, we got a lot of cards. So let me just get these organized because it's it's a little intense. Hold on. Okay, so these were the last ones. That was the last line. Jeez, I'm already up to seven. I'm even halfway or done organizing these. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, this fucker. Yeah, they're they're Schmeagol or whatever that character's name is. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're there, precious. Okay. Mm. Their overall energy, Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be Aquarius or Libra or Aries Leo Sag around this, like, not being able... They can't let go of shit. They can't. They, they just can't. They refuse. They outright refuse. And they're going to bring drama into it. However, I will say, this Knight of Swords in this position is, like, letting vulnerability show, letting vulnerability come through. I don't know how you feel about that, but that's what that is. Eek. All right. So let's look at the first line. Like I said, there's a there's a lot of cards. Queen of Cups, there's you guys. Cancer could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, uh, Sagittarius energy could also be um, Aries or Leo. So this is all water. This is all fire. And then we got some earth with air here. Taurus again. Like I said, mm, that, new, that new one, that new one. Um... I gotta be honest, there's like a lot of steaminess between the two of you, whoever this new person is. It feels really, really yummy. Um, could also be Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And both of you are facing each other, like quite literally. You're face, you're ready. Both of you are ready. They're ready to give and you are ready to receive, <laughs> very much so. And they're gonna let you know. And I think, I think this person finds out. I really think this person finds out and it triggers them because it's like they're, you're, you're the one who's getting a message. From a very steamy individual mm, they have a very steamy connection with i'm so excited for you cancers this is really good stuff this is really good stuff all right now let's look at the next line Ugh. really okay oh you're gonna be annoyed i know it you're gonna be annoyed king of swords your ex this is your ex. Don't make any mistake about that. This is your ex, regardless of their sign. Aquarius energy could also be Gemini or Libra. This is all air. Eight of Wands, Three of Swords, and Nine of Pentacles. I really like this card, the way that these cards have come out. And I'll tell you why. First of all, this is basically them still going within, but also it's saying that they're like kind of narcissistic. This is my NARC card. They can be also very selfish. They're very full of it. They have a lot of ego. It's almost like... I can stand up by myself because I can do anything in the world kind of energy. Okay. <laughs> Cause, oh, yeah, because everybody can do anything in the world, right? They're going to try. 
they're gonna want to talk to you they're really gonna want to talk to you i also feel like this is um their thoughts like all of these wands are thoughts to me like that usually i know it's swords this is usually about action like act you know in very physical action but they're not gonna interrupt you is what i'm getting I feel like they're not going to interrupt you because this is a pre-empress person who's not interrupted, right? Nine of Pentacles. Didn't you guys already have Nine of Pentacles? Yeah. Um, this is someone who's very happy in their solitude and they're staying in their solitude. They. This is what they see. They see you as that. And this pain is the pain that they've caused you. They're looking at the pain that they caused in this union that they had with you. And I feel like they can't stop thinking about it. I think that's why it's like coming in like this and it's such dark imagery, such electric energy. It's like it's torturing them. But... This is the side that's like, you're going to get interrupted. And maybe they will. Maybe they will. But it's almost like they're going to take a lot of time to just watch you from afar and just torture themselves over it, to be honest. Then we have the Page of Cups. This is the other side, the side that came out. This is someone who has trouble being vulnerable. Your ex, hands down. They have really trouble giving emotion. They have a lot of trouble even like apologizing is kind of what I'm getting. I don't even think they know the word I'm sorry. Um, but they, they feel sorry. So it's like, they're trying to work it up, work themselves up to come in and say sorry to you, but they're really struggling. So I don't know how successful they're going to be at that, but this is somebody who has a lot of trouble being vulnerable. Okay. You ready? Cause I'm ready. Oh my God. This is so cool. This is the new person. This is the new person. Emperor. Where'd that empress go? Emperor to the empress. You guys are going to be very much like alpha-like together. I, I love it. To Aries energy could also be Taurus. Yeah, remember, they're coming through as a Taurus twice. <laughs> they could very well be a Taurus. Whatever. Doesn't matter. They're harnessing Taurus energy. Divine masculine energy as well. King of Wands, Leo energy could also be um, Aries, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Pentacles with the Lovers, Gemini energy. They could be a gem, Taurus, Cusper. We have a lot of Gemini energy around this reading. So you're a new person. You're new, you're new boo. <laughs> Regardless of gender, you're a new boo. Very much an action taker. But it kind of seems like, you know, this person does feel extremely new. So they are going within a little bit. And it's like, they're, they're figuring stuff out too about this union. I keep getting, look at me, look at me, look at me. Maybe this person is coming in from the from your past. Your ex is being so distracting that it distracts you from this person. Because this is my look at me card. This is like, hey, I'm juggling. Look at me. I'm over here. Look at my hands. I'm over here. Um, that's that kind of energy to me. And so it's like, maybe they realize you're distracted by this person. And so they're trying to figure out, okay, how do I really get this person's attention? How do I make sure they actually see me? It looks like you're going to be successful because this is lovers who are walking off into the distance together. This is two lovers trying to come together. This is like, hey, we are together. Let's do this union. We're moving forward. They might even be that aggressive about it. They might be like, no, you're mine. Who, who, who are you talking about? Your ex is talking to you. No, you're mine. Let me make this clear right now. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> Any of y'all who are trying to get a man, regardless of your gender, if you're trying to get a man, you got a man. <laughs> Okay, I'm just saying. I'm like, oh my, I'm so excited. I can't get over it. Oh, is this the queen? Yeah, this is the queen. You're, st even though they're trying to claim you, I gotta be honest, you're still kind of like, you're overwhelmed is what I'm getting. You're overwhelmed. And I think that's why your overall energy is this two of cups with the six of cups. I mean, look at that. You got two people right there that they're thinking about. Two cups two people and you're stuck in thought look at that stuck in thought about it and i think both of these people are probably soulmates for you lovers is twin flame energy for me so maybe the person that your new person is more of a twin flame not really sure definitely could be we have it on the board right so you have the hangman piscean energy this is you as the queen of pentacles perfect pair to the king of pentacles with justice libra energy this is Capricorn energy, could also be Virgo, Taurus, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'll show you the other sides if you're curious. But this is your side. This is like you just got hung up. So you have one, you have an ex who's trying to get your attention, trying to claim you back. And then you have this other new person who is very aggressive, but 
they got their shit together. So they're not going to be inappropriate about it, right? But they see that it's like, oh my God, I can't get their attention. And they're going to try to come in and get your attention one way or another. And you're just like, I don't know what to do. You're just like, I can't handle, I can't handle this is what I'm getting. So the universe hangs you up as the hangman. But you know what? It's okay that you're, this is your position because very quickly after this, this tells me you're just going to stay hung, hung up for a healthy amount of time. This is unhealthy. This is like you, you're, you can't be stuck this much longer. Okay. You can't do that. <laughs> not that you can't do that. You can, it just isn't going to work out well for you. But this tells me that you're not going to be hung up for too long and that you are going to have a realization about the situation. But when you're in the hang up, you're hung up, your back is turned. You're within. You're within. You're seeking. You're trying to be in your own. Um, trying to gain back. Con I'm getting control. Trying to gain back control. With the justice here, this is justice. I don't. I know it's hard to tell because all you see are the backs, right? Um, but with the justice card, it's almost like... Oh... Uh, I keep hearing I got to fix this. I got to be honest, Cancers. I think some of you are turning your back on this person momentarily while you're hung up so that you can close out this bullshit with this other person. This justice in reverse is like, not well, it is technically the reverse of justice. It's like things are not balanced out with this old person. There hasn't been closure and you're realizing that and you're like, okay, if I really want to move forward with this person, I got to take care of this old shit. So I don't think you're rejecting this person. It's almost like you're saying, look, I do want this. There's some things I got to do first. And so it's almost like you just hit the pause button so that you can go and write whatever this craziness is. Oof, goodness. Oh, this is going to be a long video because I know this is the second part. And we're only at like 34 minutes. All right. We'll pull romance angel cards for the situation and see what's up. And like I said, this feels like it does kind of relate to the other reading, but I can tell that this is this could be for different groups of cancers. Any messages for my Cancers regarding this spread? Any messages for my Cancers regarding this spread? Any messages for my Cancers regarding this spread? It's almost like love is all around you and you're just like, oh my god, too much love. <laughs> too much love and decisions. <laughs> I think that's also why you're taking on the Libra energy as well with justice because you know Libras balance things out but they do it in a they take their time because they want to make sure they make the right decision and no matter what decision you make as long as you're harnessing Libra energy you'll make the right choice any messages for my cancers any messages for my cancers regarding this situation got this one in the last one too any messages for my cancers regarding this situation any messages for my cancers regarding this situation any messages for my cancers regarding this situation any messages for my can cancers regarding this situation <clears throat> any messages for my cancers regarding this situation any messages for my cancers regarding this situation okay <laughs> wow amazing all right guys you ready i know you're ready <laughs> i'm not gonna show you the overall energy right away um i think it's very clear that both these people could be soulmates for you and like one could even possibly be a twin for some of you Actually, no, I will just show it to you now. I'm not going to wait. After I just said it, it's like, oh, well, that I just explained it. <laughs> That's your overall energy. Past life relationship. It should say relationships. You've dealt with both these people in the past. Six of cups and two of cups. I don't know why I held it that way. I like twisted me. I almost broke my wrist trying to hold it that way. You've dealt with both these people in your past lives. I wouldn't be surprised if this exact situation happened before. You know what I mean? Um... You've dealt with both of them. You know it. Some of you know it. Not all of you know it. Some of you know it. Um, plain and simple. That's your overall energy. I'm like, yeah, there's nothing else I'd love to say about that. So let's address this. If I can pick it up. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Reconciliation with release your ex. Yeah, they're going to try to reconcile with you. Spirit's saying release that shit. 
Spirit's saying, no. <laughs> it's being presented, but if you if you want to take it, you can. I mean, you have an emperor. I, mm. <laughs> I don't see you taking your ex back. I really don't for most of you. Some of you might because it's all free will. If you do take them back, you have to release the past. It's almost like you got to really start over with this person if you want it. If you don't, then say no and just release them. Release all of it. Then we have calling in your soulmate and getting to know each other. I really like that. Yeah, we already know. You guys are a true pair. That's come up twice for you in this reading that with this new person that you're a true pair. That's It's a soulmate for you. It's awesome, and you are getting to know each other. You are. But then it gets put on, put on pause because this person causes interference. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just remember that. This person's causing interference in this union, and you're still getting to know each other. It's that new. It's that new. Um, but this person really wants you. Make no mistake. They really want you. And they're going to try to claim you. Even after you're hung up, I think they're still going to really, really want you. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Oh, Cancers. You guys are going through it too. <laughs> Aries, Cancers. I'm almost scared to even look at what Scorpio's got going on. Um, I just get really crazy vibes off Scorpios too. But we'll see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out Patreon on the Facebook page. I'll see you guys later. Bye.